Hi, everyone. Last week, our question of the week was about key signatures. But this week, it's going to be about accidentals. If you don't remember what accidentals are, they're right there. It's the flats and sharps and naturals and such that are in your music and not necessarily the key signature at the beginning. Does that make sense? So it's not letting me get rid of that little circle. I'm trying to get rid of the little circle I made. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Um, anyway, so we'll talk a little bit about accidentals. Um, the key signature, if you remember from last week, the key signature tells you what notes to play so you know what scale you're playing in, you kind of get a feel for what you're gonna be in. So why do we have these accidentals? Why are we gonna put sharps and flats in the middle of a song then? Why don't we just put them all in the key signature so we know what all the notes are before we start and then we don't have to worry about it? Well, there's a cool answer to that and I wanted to show you using this song right here that Owen is working on right now because he sent me a video so I get to use his song. If anyone else wants me to use your song in any of these videos, let me know. Um, his song is here, it's called Ceremony for Peace. And as you can tell, it has two sharps in the key signature, meaning we're using the D major scale. And the D major scale is the one that looks like this has two sharps, all the rest are white keys. Or if you're doing a five finger scale, it looks like this one. But if you're doing eight notes. Oh, there's two octaves right there. Right? And we kind of get an idea of what this is gonna sound like. It's gonna have chords like this one, D chord, or maybe a four chord, or maybe a five seven chord. We kind of have an idea already of what this song is going to be like. And at the beginning of the song, it really does sound like that. But it doesn't stay sounding like that. So I want you to listen to the song and listen for when the sound changes, when it doesn't sound like it's what you expect anymore. It's going to sound a little bit different. So here's the beginning. signature they sounded like this now the part I just played went like this does that sound like it goes with this it sounds a lot different doesn't it so we use accidentals when we want to kind of create that difference in sound. And so that part that I just stopped at was right here. It has lots of accidentals in it. And if you remember that the flats last the whole measure, you'll realize that all of these are going to be notes that are not in the D major scale. And in fact, in these two measures, there's really only one, this D, and two, this G. Those are the only two notes, well, in this D too. Those are the only notes in these two measures that are actually part of the D major scale, and you can hear that difference. So the reason why we have accidentals is because sometimes we want to create that feeling of doing something different or more exciting or unusual, not something that you expect in the song. So accidentals usually sound surprising when you're playing them. They sound a little bit different than maybe what you would expect. Not always, but they usually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this song and I want you to see if you can hear the spots where it's using accidentals, where it's using flats and sharps and black keys and where it was white keys or white keys where it was black keys. It'll sound, a little, it gives a totally different feel. So I'll go ahead and play the whole song for you and then that will be my video. So here we go.
that is why we have accidentals, because we want to create those really cool effects that they made in this song. So happy practicing! <laughs>